guys, it's Paige. So I'm doing my first ever golfing lesson-y playing um, YouTube video. I am at Greyhawk, we're playing Talon today. So it's gonna be fun. Um, I'm gonna give you guys some tips, you can watch me play. It's, uh, it's gonna be good. <laughs> I miss filming on number one because I didn't decide that I want to do this video until number two. So we're on number two. I hit a drive right but I got lucky and then I had 98 yards in and so I stuck it actually pretty close which was just nice. The pin is in an easy, easy position today. So I just want to go over green reading really fast because I get a lot of questions about this. Um, I do green reading. I like to simplify it. So I read it from behind and I see that it's kind of downhill and it's falling this way. I walk around, kind of look and see the slopes. I walk in halfway between the ball, or the ball and the cup. And I see how it's breaking in the midpoint. So, but it definitely is going this way. So I look from the back, I walk around, walk into the middle and then I walk all the way around the back for the final read. Okay, so I think I have it. I feel good about it. I line my ball up to the point where I, some people see, they see like a point here and then it breaks this way and some people see like the actual line of it falling in. I like to visualize the actual putt of it so I see it tracing here, coming down the hill, breaking, and then falling in around that side. That's how I see it. Okay. So I step behind it. I feel good about my putt. And at this point, all you think about is speed. You have it lined up. You know where you're going to hit it. So now it's just speed to make it break that way. pushed it. <laughs> I just bought it, pushed it. But my read was good. I pushed it slightly, but I was confident with my speed and my line, and that's the most important thing. You're not going to make every single putt, so try not to get defeated with it, and trust your stroke. So, I made par, and let's go to the next hole. Every hole that we're filming on here, um, I'm going to focus in on something a little bit different. So the last hole was definitely putting and greed reading. Uh, this one's going to be course management since it's a par 5. On this hole, it's a par 5. For the average to longer hitters, it's a reachable par 5. So this is one that I can actually reach into um, unless I hit a bad drive. It is a dog leg left up the hill. So. I want to try to hit a draw slightly around the trees just on the corner. So if you like to work the ball right to left, you want to move on the left side of the tee box. By doing this, it opens up the entire fairway for you because you can move it all the way right and move it left. And then vice versa, so if you like to move it left to right, you tee up on the right side. So I'm going to tee up on the left side. So I want to draw this ball, so there is a cactus in my distance, um, in, my, in the distance <laughs> where I want to hit it. I want to start at the cactus and I want to draw over to the left side of the tree. I did it perfectly. <laughs> so I started at my line and it drew left so I'll have a good shot at hopefully going for the green. I, it's a little under the wind so we'll see. So I am 2 to 12 to the pin and this is green light go all day long for me. Um, 
So when I'm deciding if I want to go for it or lay off, I usually, if I'm 245 in, I go for it. Unless there's like water in front of the green or something else kind of like that. But all the time I will go for it if I have that yardage or in. And then when I decide, okay, it's a little bit too much, I can't get there, I'm gonna have this kind of awkward half like pitch shot, then I lay up to a yardage that's comfortable for me. I like 85, that's a yardage that I really like, so I will pick a club that will go 85, leave me 85 in. But since it's 212, I'm going for it. When I decide on what club I want to use, I first look at the lie that I have and if it's uphill, downhill, side lie, any of that stuff. So my lie is pretty much flat uh, the, and, it's, and it's good. It's sitting up nice um, in the fairway. So I don't really have to worry about anything there. The wind, it's kind of in and to the left. So I'm gonna have to grab a little bit more club. It is uphill. So this is probably gonna be playing more like 217, about 220. So I'm gonna take a little bit more club and kind of roll it up. Um, there's nothing in front of the green. There's a little trouble right. So left is left is the miss here. So I decided on my three wood because I want to be able to control the flight since it's a little into the wind. I don't want to hit it up in the air with a lot of spin because it's just gonna literally hit the wall of the wind and just fall and you don't want that. So I went the three wood so I can hit kind of like a punch controlled shot. Uh, up the left side, a little baby fade. I got a really bad kick. So I hit the shot I wanted, so I'm not upset. Um, I hit it a little bit too far left, so the way the screen is set up, it is like up on kind of a, a mound, I guess, and everything falls this way. I hit a little too far left, so it kicked left, but I'll have an easy pitch shot up since I missed on the right, well, the right side, which is the left side, but that was the correct side, so the correct side this time, which was the left side, and so I'll have a lot of green to work with on my next shot to hopefully get a birdie. So I love short game. I love anything around the greens, and it's my favorite part of the game because you can basically do whatever you want. There's no rules. You can hit any club, any shot. It's really up to you what you think you can get closest. So the first thing I do is always kind of analyze the surroundings. Um, so when I'm walking up, I'm looking at the way the green is, I'm looking at how my lie is from here so far that obviously that there's still a little bit of an elevated shot. So I'm just analyzing everything around me because it's going to help me decide on what shot I want to hit and what will help me get closest to the pin. Okay, so first off, like I said, um, same thing in the fairway, you want to analyze your lie because that's going to determine so much of what you can and cannot do. So even though I'm in the rough, it is sitting up pretty nice, so I don't really have to worry about too much there. Um, it is a little below my feet, but not enough to affect too much. So now I'm gonna walk up and I'm gonna look at the green. So I can, obviously I'm walking up a hill, <laughs> and that's not really gonna affect too much, just visually it's a little bit different. These greens are firm, they are firm, so I'm gonna have to use a more lofted club big slope over on this left side but the pin is far enough away from it where I won't actually have to bring that into play too much so right away right here kind of looks like where I want to land it um, I'm using a 56 degree wedge I'm gonna hit just kind of a basic chip shot Nice and easy, left me about a four footer for birdie. But the most important thing with short game is to not overcomplicate it. If you have a lot of green to work with, use something that you can roll quite a bit, get it on the green and let it roll. 
um, but just do what you feel most comfortable with. So you can use a more lofted club, a less lofted club, you can hit flops all day long if you want to, you can hit bump and runs. Um, but just kind of analyze the lie, the conditions, um, how far in the greens are, and if you do that, then you're good to go. Okay, so I made my birdie. So on this hole, I focus mostly on kind of course management on how to play a par five. So we started off on the tee box. If you like to play it right to left, tee up on the left side. If you like to play it left to right, tee it up on the right side. That way you'll have more fairway to work with. Then we went to the fairway and we decided what your good kind of go-to yardage is to either go for the green in two or to lay up. Um, I said mine was 245 and in, I go for it, and then I lay up to 85 yards if it's too far out for me. And then we went up to the green and we kind of worked on what you need to look at when you're about to chip. So lie, the way the green is going, how firm it is, uh, the weather conditions can also be a factor. And then we didn't talk about putting, but I went and talked about putting on the last hole on how to read greens, and it helped me out on this one and I made birdie. So. Next hole, let's talk about irons. Let's do irons. <laughs> talk about with irons. We'll just talk kind of about the shot and how I like to play my iron shots. Um, I like to control the shots a lot so I like to hit a ton of like punch shots, um, just half shots, uh, half speed swing shots, anything where I feel in control. So I'm never gonna be swinging like 100% if I feel like it's too much with that club, then I go up a club and I swing a little easier on it and that way I know that I'm gonna hit it straight. If I try to swing it too hard, um, I'll probably put too much spin on it. Um, it could either go right, it could go left, mostly left because my legs will get out of control and I'm just gonna swing it too hard and I'll get tense. So hitting half shots, so one, three, one. I'm gonna hit a easy eight here um, just so I can control the flight that I want. It's a front pin. I have a lot of room to work with uh, behind it. But I think I'm going to try to land it just a little bit short of the pin and let it kind of roll up a bit. So normally I would hit like a full nine, but like I said, since I want to control the shot, I'm going to hit an easier eight. So it is going to be kind of like a half shot, more of a punch shot. So it's not going to be all the way back and I'm going to kind of cut it off right here. That way, changes are it's going to go straight, hopefully, that's the goal. And I can control the flight a little bit easier when the wind is blowing. Uh, it's not blowing too bad right now, but this is a great shot to have when it's blowing pretty hard or if you're really just not that confident. This is always my go-to shot when I am in tournaments or I'm nervous or if I don't feel comfortable. So right now I'm a little bit nervous because uh, we're filming right now and I want to hit a good shot for you guys. So I'm going to hit it just a little bit left to the pin. Um, if I miss it right, I'm gonna short side myself. So I'm gonna go left of the pin, hit a punch kind of fade shot. Okay. So we are on the green. I'll have a good putt for a birdie.
Okay. So, made my par. That was just a little bit of irons, but if you have more questions, you guys can comment below and um, ask me what you want me to talk about next when it comes to irons. But I think the next shot, I get so many questions about this shot. It is the bunker shot, green side bunker shot. So this is going to be the last hole of my little playing with me lesson kind of thing. It's kind of turning into more of a lesson. Um, so hopefully you guys like that. If not, then you want to just watch me play, then let me know. If you want more of these, then let me know. Um, it really is just going to depend on what you guys want because I just want to make golf fun and a little easier for you. So if these tips help, then that's great. Um, so par three, it is... Mm, 147 I just got the news right now it's 147 so let's do this okay so I didn't hit it in the bunker so I'll have to end up dropping it in the bunker um, but we'll move on to green side bunker shots next I hit the green not good because I want to hit a bunker shot. So let's just cut this up. You're going to give me that putt. Good side of putter length. <laughs> we made par. Yay. I get so many questions on how to hit a bunker shot. Even the guys that I play with who are really good players, sometimes they even struggle with bunker shots. It's just kind of like a weird motion and so different than anything else that you do so we'll just kind of go over how I hit it it's a little bit different um, than how some people teach it so hopefully it'll help this is kind of a hard bunker shot because I don't have much green to work with and it is a bit down the hill once it hits the green so I have I either hit a 54 a 56 or a 60 um, when it comes to bunker shots. Longer bunker shots, obviously I take a less lofted club. I normally always hit my 56 in the bunker except for shots like these where I need to put more spin on it or get it up in the air faster. So what most people kind of taught before, which never worked for me, um, it might work for other people really well, but for me personally, it, I didn't click with it at all and I really struggled with my bunker play. So a lot of people say just kind of go out and kind of cut across it and I just could never do that. I would shank it like all the time. I couldn't control the spin on it. It just wasn't a technique that worked really well for me. So what I do is I put the ball just a little bit for, forward to center, square stance, uh, square stance to the ball but a wide stance. This way I'll, if the, the wider I can put the handle a little bit farther down which will add a little bit more loft when I and then it's easier for me to open it when I go back I'm not taking it outside I'm cocking it up fast literally all I think about is throwing my hands so I just throw them down and that's all I do that's all I do and I do that technique for every bunker shot um, I'll usually just change the club or if it's longer, I won't throw it as early. I'll kind of hold it off a little bit longer. For this one, I'm gonna throw it right away. So I'm a real feel player, so this technique works really good for me because I can judge how far I'm gonna throw it off of the shot that I have at hand. Um, I like it a lot because it's square and it feels more like a normal shot compared to being really open and throwing it out, which is something I don't like to do. So it's just a square stance, a little bit farther, forward to center, wide. You cock up and turn, just throw your hands down and turn through it. It's an easy way to hit bunker shots. That's it for this little playing lesson, play with me kind of video. Thank you so much for watching and then comment below if you want to see certain type of shots, different shots, um, more of this, more of that, less of this, less of that, you know the drill. So I hope you enjoyed 
and see you guys all soon.